Hello, I'm Lawrence Moroni for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. The third beta of Android 12 is here, and it includes the final Android 12 APIs and the official SDK, so you can start preparing for the final release. It also includes updates like scrolling screenshots, privacy indicator APIs, new permissions for CDM paired apps, starting foreground services, and enhanced auto-rotate. That's a lot. We're planning full platform stability with Beta 4, where all app-facing system behaviors and non-SDK interface restrictions will also be final, in addition to the API surfaces, which are available in Beta 3. You can also get Android 12 Beta 3 on devices from device makers such as Sharp and TCL. So visit android.com slash beta to see the full list of partners who are participating in the Android 12 Beta. And for even broader testing, you can try the Android 12 Beta on Android GSI images. And if you don't have a device, you can test using the Android emulator. Follow the links below for some more details. The Android Game Development Extension, also known as AGDE, is now available. And this allows you to develop multi-platform games in C or C++ using Visual Studio and then deploy them to Android. It's part of our effort to address game developers that faced issues in targeting Android with cross-platform workflows. Now you can stay in a single IDE instead of maintaining multiple projects for different platforms. And of course, if you want to just target Android, then Android Studio is still right for you. Check it out in the links to the blog in the description below. Still on gaming, Google Cloud is announcing Quilkin as the latest entry of open source solutions for game developers. Quilkin is an open source, non-transparent UDP proxy specifically designed for use with large scale, multiplayer dedicated game server deployments, and is designed to ensure security, access control, telemetry data, metrics, and a whole lot more. And if you're interested in obfuscation, non-transparent proxying of UDP data, metrics for UDP packet traffic and communications, then you can grab the binaries or container images, step through quick starts, and review different integration options with your dedicated game servers. And all of these links are in the description below. On the AI front, Brax, a differentiable physics engine for large-scale rigid body simulations, is a new simulation engine that matches the performance of a large compute cluster with just a single TPU or GPU. The engine's design both efficiently runs thousands of parallel physics simulations alongside a machine learning algorithm on a single accelerator, but can also scale millions of simulations seamlessly across pods of interconnected accelerators. And this new platform demonstrates 100 to 1,000 times faster training compared to traditional workstation setups. And of course, you can now run it on your workstation. You can check it out with samples using Google Colab, and you can access the source code in the links below. For developers wanting to deploy to the cloud in India, the new Google Cloud region in the Delhi National Capital Region, or NCR, is now available. With this new region, Google Cloud customers operating in India will also benefit from low latency and high performance of their cloud-based workloads and data. This is the second Google Cloud region in India and the 10th to open in Asia Pacific. Its design will help both Indian and global companies alike build highly available applications for their customers. And remembering that it's designed for high availability, the region will open with three availability zones to protect against service disruptions. You can learn more by visiting the Google Cloud Locations page, where you can also watch the region launch event. And as always, the links are in the description below. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Lawrence Moroni for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Non-transparent proxying of UDP data, metrics for UDP patch the bad day. I almost wonder if you're punking me with this one.